Let me tell ya You're looking at me like you wanna be the one And you tell me that you're leaving in the morning You really wanna start something Welcome back to my channel. Today's video is this hair. Today's wig is provided by Julia Hair. They actually did it again with this wig. I showed you guys how I got this style today. It came out super pretty and I diffused the ends to give it a nice curl. This hair is super soft unlike my last, my last um ginger curly hair. I don't want to say the name but check my channel and you'll see this one is super soft i actually have good things to say about this hair it's really easy to manage and it's so beautiful so today i'm going to show you how i installed it and styled it julia hair did put a couple of stuff in the box it came with like head wrap brush bag bonnet all this stuff so you guys know i always show you what come in the package and it's pretty much the same things that always come in the packaging but today i want to show you how to get this style so if you're interested stay tuned to this i'm doing a get ready with me today don't mind my background i was gonna like zoom in a little bit more this is good yeah so i'm gonna do a get ready with me today just like hair makeup outfit fragrance i'm not going anywhere but i feel like well actually i think i'm gonna go take some pictures i did get my ac but today is not as as hot as it normally be so i just turned off the fan so i could talk to you guys i don't even know what look i'm going for but i know i want to do a look like my ginger look but this time with curly hair and the outfit is going to be problematic because the girl that actually was selling this outfit because i bought it like a year ago and her name is atara lions and she's so freaking ratchet like if you search her up literally she used to have a do a do rag store but she's a designer so she sell other stuff too like randomly and i end up buying this dress from one of her random sales last year and now her sight is gone lily um she's so ratchet like she's crazy as shit if you search her up on on um twitter you'll see what i'm talking about so the dress is probably not even available but i want to wear this today because i feel like it goes with the hair i'm gonna go ahead and do my wig this is the wig right here where is this wig from for some reason i didn't even write where this wig was from hold on i'll go check okay guys so this is julia hair i'm just showing you how the hair looks straight out of the packaging i'm gonna go ahead and cut off the air tabs but i did want to let you guys know i did pluck this wig but i lightly plug it not too much so i didn't really have to cut too much of the hair off i just cut the lace off and that was good enough so i'm gonna clip it out of the way and i did not put any foundation on the lace so i'm just gonna lift up that lace and i'm going to start cleaning off my skin just to make sure that the adhesive sticks to the to my skin and the hair i mean and the lace so I'm making sure that this is clean and just blow dry it all the way down. I use 91% alcohol and I'm going to apply this three times just to make sure that it is thick enough and also sticky enough. So make sure that it's dried like kind of tacky in between each layer. once you apply all those layers if you feel like you want your wig to last a little longer you can add one or two more layers but i'm going to go ahead and push this lace into the adhesive and i'm just going to use a comb to push it in no, don't push it in too too hard but just give it a little bit of tension so that the the um spray can come through the lace just a little bit and then i'm just gonna blow it on cool air so it can kind of dry a little bit before i tie it down because i don't want the spray to seep through and stick on my band so i'm clipping the hair up because i'm gonna put this band behind my neck and then once you tie it just blow it for like two minutes and let it sit for 10 minutes put your timer on make sure it's sitting for 10 minutes this will help it to set and it's not going to move or go anywhere. I'm using an eyebrow razor just to cut the lace. Take your time when you're doing this. You can see I left it in real time so you guys can follow along with me and do it exactly how I'm doing it right here. Try not to go too, too close to your skin, but gently go up and down in an up and down motion. Now 
now I'm going to use some bed head and I'm going to lightly spray it on the front of the hairline. I actually could have just sprayed it on my finger and then rub it into the hairline, but I don't know what was going on with me. I blow that on cool air for about a minute or two and then tie it down for five minutes. You can tie it down for 10 minutes again, but I don't have patience for that, so I didn't do that. I'm taking out all the clips in the hair and I did go ahead and do my makeup. So if you want to see my makeup video, like and like this video and comment down below. I will be posting the makeup video shortly after this one, so maybe like on Sunday or something. And I'm going in with the Ruby Kisses two-sided foundation in the color 12, no, in the color 15 and the color 14. And I'm going to go ahead and start doing the edges on this wig. This wig is so pretty. So I'm just like measuring it with my eyebrow and I'm doing like a C shape and then I'm gonna just take out some more on the sides just to make it have a natural look I feel like it wasn't looking too natural so I took out some of the hair on the sideburn area and I also took out some like at the tip of my brow that's for real but you changed my mind in the summertime back back together in the wintertime the universe seems to give us time I, I, I just think we should give it time so why cheat ourselves when the love is real we don't need to rush, see that's how accidents happen, baby, but it's passion in our crash. I mean, it's passion and disaster. What what are we chasing after? I, I, I would like to slow down. You, you, you just want to go faster. There goes reality. I, I think we lost it. That, that, that line of insanity. I think we crossed it. But you changed my mind in the summertime. Back, back, back together in the wintertime. The universe seems to get... Once I got that out, I am going to go ahead and use a hot comb to press down the wig but i'm just gonna clip it out of the way and i'm gonna use the hot comb just to press the hair back and to also press down the edges because i want the edges going forward so i want to just give it a, an idea of how i want it to lay so take your time with this because i did burn my freaking air i just think we should give it time we should give it time give it time give it time i just think we should give it time give it time Give it time. I just think we should give it to Give it time. Give it time. I just think we should give it to Give it time. Give it time. Now I'm just going to put it up out of the way because I want to go ahead and do my edges. And it was kind of hot in my room, so I just put it up. I'm using the same edge, edge rate, no, eyebrow razor that I used to cut the lace. And I'm just going to jaggedly cut the edges just to give it a natural look. I, I use scissors sometimes, but I feel like scissors gives it a blunt look, and when you use a razor, it gives it more of like a natural type of wispy effect. Don't you cry, don't you start with those tears. Don't run from the worry, you're facing your fears. Don't lie to my face when you tell me you're fine. I know something wrong, why the hell are you crying? Why the hell are you crying? Baby? I'm using a 3 fourths flat iron. I think it's 3 fourths. I link everything in the description box, so you guys can just click the description box to get everything that I use on my wigs. And I'm just curling it upwards. You could curl it downwards. I feel like it doesn't really make a difference. But I'm curling it upwards all the way around. And that's for real. But you changed my mind in the summertime. Back, back together in the wintertime. The universe seems to give us time. I, I, I just think we should give it time. Then I'm just going to trim off just a little bit because I felt like it was too long at the front. And you want it to be short, but not too short. But if it's too long, it's just going to look not unnatural. You want it to look as natural as possible. So I'm going in with the got to be on an edge brush and I'm going to start giving the hair an idea of how I want it to lay because I am going to actually mold it down with gorilla snot so i'm just giving it a little idea with the got to be but i feel like got to be doesn't really hold up in the summertime so this is just to give me an idea of how to lay the edges now i'm going in with the gorilla snot right on top that and i'm just reinforcing the swoops that i put in and this is just going to help it to stay and you want to use your blow dryer on cool air to blast it so it can just stay in place and be dried if you don't do that the hair might move or whatever but you want to do that to make sure that it doesn't move okay 
so now i changed my clothes and stuff and i'm gonna go ahead and start styling the hair this is a video that you guys seen on tiktok i was actually filming myself for this video and tiktok i was like oh let me just make a little tiktok and i'm surprised that you guys even enjoyed that video so much but this is the same kind of thing from tiktok it's just a different angle because you guys can actually see what i'm doing here so i just part out that section and i make sure that i part it in a way that i it's gonna cover the track in the back that's very important because you have to put your hair into a ponytail kind of like a middle ponytail and do that on both sides and then you're gonna hot comb both sides so you hot comb the area that's gonna be put into the ponytail right there but you're also gonna hot comb the front pieces going forward and then going flat you see like that you want to hot comb it going forward so the line will show and just hot comb that out so it could be nice and smooth and i'm going to use some cara cara wax stick to make sure that there's no flyaways and everything is in place i put that on the ponytail section as well and then i go back in with the hot comb you want to take your time slow and controlled and just hot comb this all the way out make sure that everything is nice and smooth and it's easy to like handle without it looking frizzy now i'm gonna go in with the got to be this is gonna help for it not to move it's gonna help to mold the hair into shape and you want to make sure you do this this is very important as well i'm just using a comb to mold the hair how i want it to be and just comb it through make sure the front the front is really important because that's like your whole look and just spray some more if you need and you could go in with a blow dryer and hit it with the blow dryer the blow dryer is going to make sure that it doesn't move and it stay exactly how you want it and then for the end piece i'm going to just comb it through and just spray a little bit more got to be comb it through again to smooth it out and then i just like fit it behind my ear so i'm going to put it behind my ear and then wrap it over to the other side then you want to do the same exact thing to the other side pretty self-explanatory it's really quick and easy to do i thought it's, this was going to be harder than it was it was super quick and simple give it time give it time i just think we should give it time give it time give it time i just think we should give it time give it time give it time i just think we should give it time give it time give it time i just think we should give it time then once you get both of them to the back you just want to connect them together and then use a ponytail holder to um to secure it and you're not going to see this because the hair is curly so it's just going to be sitting in the back just make sure you pull it nice and tight it should look like this super flat now i'm going to go ahead and do the ponytail you want to do the ponytail before you define your curls because you don't want to go back in after you define your curls and put up the ponytail and then it's going to make your hair look frizzy so I'm just parting the hair like straight in the middle and I'm going to put that ponytail right in the back of my hair. I didn't show you guys me securing it, but it's pretty self-explanatory. I'm going to secure it right in that section right there. My armpit is so hairy. Oh my gosh. But you see how I secured it right there in the back? I did go ahead and detangle the hair and put some... I didn't put anything in it. I just detangled it with water and I decided to diffuse it to give it some ringlets at the ends. I feel like diffusing your hair especially your curly hair and deep wave hair really makes a difference so make sure you do this this is a game changer i'm going in with the cheese silk infusion just to give the hair some shine and then i'm going to just um, wrap the ponytail around just like one or two times i think i did it like one time and then make sure that it's on top of the head like that and then I'm just going to clip the ponytail, like literally on the ponytail. I should have turned around so you guys could see that. But I click the ponytail just like that. And then I just start like fluffing it up and puffing it up. And that's basically it. That's all I do to this wig. I use a comb to kind of fluff up the curls a little bit just to make the top of the wig bigger. But pretty self-explanatory. So yeah. That's basically all I do. I hope you guys enjoy it. 
Okay, you guys, this is the end of the video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Make sure you guys visit Julia Hair. I'll have all the links down below. Let me know if you enjoyed it down below. Give me some fox emojis or just some fruits, all kind of fruits. So yeah, this is how it turned out. This is how the hair looks. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And if you did, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and I will definitely see you in my next one. Bye.